Hello everyone, I'm Malix and in this video I would like to show you how to connect XSOR uh, gliding computer with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. If you don't know, XSOR is a tool used by uh, many glider and hand gliders and paraglider pilots in real life, but also you can use uh, it with Microsoft Flight Simulator. You just need some uh, piece of software that will convert uh, the data in proper form. Uh, you have several options for Microsoft Flight Simulator, but uh, in this example I will show you Kinetic Assistant. Uh, before we start, you will need to download uh, two things. First one is XSOR itself. Uh, you can get it from official website. Just uh, download Windows 64-bit uh, and uh, we need XSOR .exe file. This is single .exe, uh, single file, you just need to uh, launch it and you'll see a notification about it's not safe, run anyway. On the main screen you will see uh, two buttons, fly and sim. Uh, we need fly because uh, Kinetic Assistant will pretend that uh, you are flying, flying a real glider. So uh, choose the fly and that will be a, uh, the map screen. You can see uh, nothing yet. First, let's uh, check the settings. To open settings screen, just click twice on the uh, uh, map area and open the config screen. Here, go to the system. Uh, first, we need to install some map. Uh, install site files, click on map database, download and you will see the list of uh, available maps. Uh, in my case, I uh, my glider located in uh, Alps, so I just will download the uh, Alps map, uh, low resolution. Now press close. Uh, okay, we see map now. Uh, second stage will be uh, download the Kinetic Assistant. You can use a freeware version from uh, our, our website or you can get the uh, payway version. There is no difference uh, regarding the anime data transfer, so both versions are similar. And when you download it and extract, launch the tool and uh, press connect. Open anime uh, tab and you will find the uh, main option here. It's uh, disabled by default, it means there is no connection. And uh, you have local IP address and network IP address. The main difference is that you can use local address if you run uh, XOR application on your desktop. Uh, and network address you have to use if you uh, launch XSOR on your smartphone. So uh, Kinetic Assistant will transfer data through the network. Uh, in our case, I have a desktop application, so I will use uh, this local IP address. To configure the source of data, go to the config settings, devices, and uh, edit the first one. Uh, so I need to set local address. Okay, uh, TCP client. Port has to be exactly the same as uh, in Kinetic Assistant uh, field. Sometimes this port is uh, busy, so you can choose another one, like uh, 2000 maybe, and set exactly the same in uh, Kinetic Assistant. Tool. Then uh, restart the server. And last one, uh, choose the driver. You can choose generic because it supports uh, all required types of data. Uh, you have other options, but uh, in this example I will use generic. And uh, don't forget to enable it, so uh, there is a GPS fix uh, label will appear. You also can monitor uh, the incoming data. If you see uh, many kind of uh, numbers, it means connection works and Kinetic Assistant sent data to the XOR. And now you, are, uh, you can close this window. And you can see uh, my location is detected properly. Another feature you can be interested in, you can load the race uh, flight plan. So for example, I will start the race uh, from this runway. 
you can see on the right screen uh, there is XOR uh, flight plan. Just press this button and uh, by default uh, the, the required folder should be selected and the name of the task file will be the same as the race. So press uh, save and on XOR screen go to the uh, navigation task manager uh, manage browse and you will find this task file in the list just uh, load it uh, you can see it has four turn points close and our uh, road with turn points now appear on the map and you will get notifications about uh, waypoints and uh, kind of stuff so uh, now we are ready for takeoff. I will show you how you can uh, enable the thermaling screen on the UX XSR. It happens automatically, so you will understand how it works. And last one, uh, I will uh, pass a start gate and you will see how navigation happens in, uh, in this application. So I will uh, use a winch. Uh, 3000 meters and we are ready for takeoff so there is a thermal uh, really close to the start gate so I will get inside of it and I will show you the indication that uh, XSR will uh, provide for you Once you get inside of the thermal, just uh, bend to the left and uh, start to make the spirals. XSOR will detect that you are thermaling and will show you special indication after a while. Okay, here it is. Uh, you can see the area of uh, the hotspot it looks uh, quite perfect because it's synthetic but in real life uh, this area is uh, can be any kind of the shape so this indication really helps to understand where is uh, the best spot for the uh, for the lift and after you get enough altitude let's get out of the hotspot and follow the start gate. After you crossed the uh, turn point, you can see that it was detected by uh, application and it turned into a navigation mode. Configuration is quite simple. Uh, XOR is a very powerful uh, tool that has a lot of uh, various features. So uh, take your time, just check out YouTube uh, tutorials and uh, learn it in details. Uh, I did show you very fast step how to make it work with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, fly safe. Goodbye.